We have been through big moments of technological advancement before. We are in one now. What that means is that we are entering a new era for our economy. When that happens, disruption comes first. But then for most of us, our jobs change as we have them now. That's the second thing that happens. And then new categories of jobs emerge. That's the third thing that happens. And then fourth, we end up in a new economy. So we'll go through each bit real quick. Disruption is here. We did a report with Microsoft earlier this year. 75% of global knowledge workers are using AI in their day to day. That is a huge percentage. And so if you think about other moments of technological disruption, they happen methodically over years. This is happening quickly over months and it's happening middle out, not top down. So the disruption is here. That means jobs are going to change. LinkedIn has data that says 68% of the skills associated with the average job will have changed by 2030. That means even if you are not doing anything, you're not changing jobs, you're not changing your work, your job is changing on you into a totally different job. So that's like the thing that we all have to think about on jobs. Now, new categories of jobs are going to emerge. First of all, Excel didn't end the need for accountants. ATMs didn't end the need for bank tellers. So we rarely see mass upheavals where jobs just disappear. Mostly jobs change. And then new categories emerge. So right now we're still in the sort of like, it's a disruption. I got to figure out how to use it. And it's changing my job. We aren't yet at the place where we have the new jobs we can point to besides technical ones like head of AI, but that's coming. And that's going to be really exciting as we think about what's possible. And then we get to this fourth bit. Well, what does this all lead to in terms of the economy itself? And if you think about the history of work, for tens of thousands of years, we had what I would call a goods economy. So it was anchored around agriculture and it was anchored around manufacturing. And then for workers, largely around our physical abilities. It's just been like a couple of generations we've had a knowledge economy anchored around computers and big data that is for workers been anchored on cognitive abilities. Robots are going to do more and more of physical ability. AI is already able to do more and more of cognitive ability. 96% of a software engineer's job, we estimate at LinkedIn, is already currently or soon to be vulnerable to AI. Doesn't mean software engineers go away, but it means there's a new set of skills coming to the center of the economy. And that is a relationship economy where social abilities, EQ, all of these skills we have as humans, critical thinking, empathy, critical listening, collaboration, that we have never valued at work are about to be the it skills. So as you think about new categories of jobs emerging, you think about how your job is going to change, know that the new era for the economy is going to be akin to a relationship economy and the people's skills are going to matter most. <laughs>